Line of police vehicles with lights on slowly made its way from the far south side at 103rd and Cottage Grove north on the Dan Ryan. On and off ramps were blocked so the two officers could complete their last call together, but in separate ambulances largely unimpeded by pre dawn traffic. Eduardo Montalejo's family awaited the arrival of their loved one in the warmth of the Red Cross office. Then, when the procession approached, they were escorted outside by the Gold Star family's chaplain so they could take their position underneath a giant flag on Harrison Street. There, alongside countless officers from the Chicago Police Department, they watched as the uniformed bodies of Eduardo and Conrad were driven into the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office parking lot. Then, the family, surrounded by countless uniformed and plainclothes police officers, was escorted to the entrance of the Medical Examiner's Office, where the employees received the bodies of their loved ones. Marmalejo leaves behind a wife and three kids. Kids, Gary, 31 years old and married with an infant child. It's a devastating tragedy for the families one week before Christmas. It's also especially hard on the 5th Police District, whose commander acknowledges that his officers have already dealt with their share of heartache in 2018. We talked about just the, you know, the, the level of tragedy that they've experienced uh, here in the five. It, I, I've never heard, or he has never experienced anything like this. Um, I, I don't know where they summon the strength to be able to continue to do what they're doing. And yet they're in there in the roll call getting ready to go out and, 